One day during office hours, Professor Lee and his students end up talking about professional image and dress. Matteo asks Professor Lee for advice on how to start his professional wardrobe on a student budget. Professor Lee shares a few suggestions that helped him when he first began working and that he uses even now. First, he suggests learning how a capsule wardrobe works and how to pair different pieces together to maximize their wearability. Professor Lee shares that even to this day, if he can't think of at least three outfits that he could wear with a specific item, he doesn't buy it. Next, he recommends having a good understanding of brands and fabrics that will last. Professor Lee shares that he has had several instances where he tried a new brand or just bought what was available and it wore out after a few months. After that, he spent time looking for quality pieces at sales and in secondhand stores, and he has several pieces that have lasted him almost 10 years. He offers to share his preferred brands and fabrics with Matteo and the other students if they're interested. Professor Lee suggests that Matteo start by looking up examples of professional capsule wardrobes and find one he likes and see if he has any pieces already that would work. Then Matteo can start shopping sales and secondhand stores to look for specific pieces to build out his wardrobe. Matteo and the other students think this is great advice and thank Professor Lee for his suggestions. After the other students leave, Jemaya shares with Professor Lee that she is confident in her professional dress, but is worried that she will encounter discrimination if she chooses to wear her natural hairstyles. Professor Lee tells Jemaya that while he has obviously not experienced the same racism against hairstyles, he remembers when he was younger there was some pressure for him to adopt a more American-sounding first name. He had to decide if he was willing to deal with people mispronouncing his name or treating him differently in order to stay true to himself. Even though the details of the discrimination are different, she will also have to consider her options and decide which path she will take. Professor Lee suggests that Jemaya find a way to ask a few black women who are currently working in the legal field what their experiences have been in regard to their hair. Because of the Crown Act and other legislation, it does look like things are getting better, but it doesn't hurt to be both optimistic and realistic. Professor Lee offers to help Jemiah find either a student group or some colleagues online that she can reach out to. Jemiah is grateful for Professor Lee's advice and looks forward to learning about other Black women's lived experiences and how they navigate the professional world while being true to themselves.